Welcome back. Today it is Autodesk 3DS Max 2018 YouTube Classroom. This is video number three. If you're following along with the class, it's quarter one, week one, day one. Uh, we Today we are setting our snapping settings. That's a lot of settings. All right. Today we are going to set up our snaps. Uh, we are going to go all through the snap settings. And it's going to be really important because... Most of the 3D work that we do in this class will be based around the idea that we are working for video games. And nothing makes video game designers pull their hair out more than 3D audio or 3D assets that don't snap to a grid. If the user of your game engine has to actually nudge things around to get things to snap together it takes them a lot longer to build and iterate on their levels which ends up taking more time which means there's not enough time for playtesting and then you get bad games so what we're going to try and do today is eliminate some of those issues so up here in the uh, toolbar we've got something called snaps toggle now if you right click snaps toggle you'll see that you've got a bunch of different tabs here the first tab we're going to look at has all the different things you can snap to. Grid points, pivot, perpendicular, vertex, yada yada. All this is great and we turn snapping on by clicking that or by pressing the S key. Now you'll also notice down here whenever I press a key like, I don't know, control copy, it pops up down here so that way you have an idea of what I'm doing. So if I press S, I'm turning S on and on and you on and off I'm toggling it if I hit Q and I take a long time between them you'll see that it moves this adjustment here and it just tallies them up down here so if you have a question on what key I just pressed you can usually find it down here uh, I might move it over here at some point but for now I think this is a pretty good spot so the first option we're gonna fix here is under options we need to make sure we enable access constraints. What that does is it allows us to constrain our snaps along a specific axis. Um, I have no idea why this is off by default. Um, I'm sure somebody out there has a logical reason, but I really prefer it to be on. So we're gonna go with that. So once that's set, we're in good shape here. Now, home grid. Already, um, in the last video, you should have customized your units to set up for centimeters. Most of the things we make in this class will be smaller than, let's say, a car, or smaller than something that you would measure in meters. So generally, we're gonna be using centimeters. Uh, if I was working on an aircraft carrier, I wouldn't care if I was a few centimeters off, but if I'm working on um, a dagger, uh, a, a few meters off is gonna be a problem. So that turns that dagger into a really long Sephiroth-style sword. Anyway, so we're set to centimeters, like I said before, but grid spacing, yours is probably set to 20 something um, because it probably was set from the default. I've already changed this one and I forgot to change it back, but grid spacing, I set to 10 and then major grid lines every 10th and then perspective view grid extent, I also set to 10. That means this grid here in the perspective view is now, you see that you, or you saw it just change, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see it's ten this way, ten that way. So we've got a twenty by twenty grid. So that's our home grid settings. And now our user grids, we don't actually mess with any of that at all. Uh, that's basically all of our snap settings. Now, when we actually get into snaps later on, you will see me come up here, right click this to bring up this file and then select different types of snaps. And when we get to those, I will go through why we're using vertex versus pivot versus grid. Uh, generally, a good place to leave it is grid. Sometimes it's nice to have it on grid lines as well. It all depends what you're working on. We'll be in and out of this menu quite a bit. But now that this is all set, we're basically done for today, or at least for this section, uh, on snap settings. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in video number four.